Hello, everybody. Brian here at quantlabs.net, October 21st, 2024. Um, just wanted to go through um, the details of how much math do you need to know uh, to make a career in quant roles. Um, there's a couple of uh, things that people need to know about going into quant, uh, even quant coding or quant development research and the like for the high paying jobs. I would say you'd have to have at least any, you look at any job description, you'll need to have at least a master's level and probably now with the competition, a uh, PhD level, uh, which is kind of sad, but that's just the way it is with the amount of competition, the amount of interest in this field. So um, the first thing is uh, what areas of math do you need to know is probability. Um, Random variables are pretty well used throughout quant type of development. I, I mean, there's the random walk is a good example of it. Um, if, you, if you're following a lot of trend following stuff, that's fine. But uh, volatility brings in a lot of uh, randomness to the, to, the, to the market and the theory of knowing um, quant as well. And um, being able to determine different models around that can be done. But uh, random models or random numbers is a big factor. Uh, so there's probability distribution uh, based around that and built around momentum. So obviously probability is a big factor as well, depending upon what kind of trend you're following and whatever asset you're interested in. Expected value. Uh, it's pretty typical. Um, variance and standard deviation, if you look at any even high level uh, type of uh, strategy or strategy analysis, variance and uh, standard deviations used uh, just to kind of measure the volatility, conditional probability as well. Um, if we just launched a new course and there you'll see a lot of concentration over the, the years, decade plus, um, additional value at risk as well. So that's measuring different probability. Uh, statistics is another big one. Hypothesis testing for sure. Um, this is really more about uh, what type of modeling you need or strategy you need uh, based upon the market condition. If it's trend mean reverting or declining as well a lot of regression analysis as well again i'm not a math 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 expert here nor a close but just using something like technical analysis like in regression analysis looking at the median path of a price movement and being able to determine um if a forecast the direction of the um, price over a certain amount of time as well and if it will revert back to the mean Obviously, time series analysis is another big one. Um, you know, people are able to measure uh, sentiment over time on that. Uh, a lot of, I've not really mentioned a lot of, but it's still used a lot as Bayesian. I'm not going to get into that, but um, typical uh, used in various types of analysis. Uh, regression is being used a lot in machine learning and AI. Uh, same with time time analysis to get the sentiment analysis. Just want to add that where AI is becoming uh, kind of crucial now as we move ahead. And uh, stochastic calculus, another big one, uh, modeling the different types of randomness and uh, over a measured time frame. Again, I'm no expert on it. One of the big ones that's typical is Brownian. Motion, geometric Brownian motion, I see a lot, a lot of questions about. Edo, Edo uh, Lemma, I got that wrong. Again, I'm not 100% on that, but on the different types of um, uh, calculus here. Wow, I'm getting killed. Hang on here. All right, so uh, there's that. Stochastic differential equations are used quite a bit. Um, part of that new course I mentioned, there's... Um, some videos demonstrating this uh, stochastic differential equation, 
used in um, MATLAB of all places, but I'm sure there's a, um, some factors you can use in Python as well. Option pricing model. Um, obviously, currently I don't do that. Um, a lot of Greek analysis. And as it says here, trying to calculate fair value of a current option. Uh, you'll probably see more of that come out of me over the next few months as I'm moving into more options and determining futures as well, all done in C++. So that's a big area. All of these are pretty well standard in a lot of the high frequency trading shops as well. Practical applications, um, problem solving. Do not be surprised that when you go into an interview process, you will probably have to have pretty good problem solving techniques on the fly as you'll have people in interviews peppering you these kind of questions just verbally at you let's see how you think and that obviously leads you into this your an 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 analytical thinking how you break down these type of complex uh problem solving into more manageable or smaller components uh, this is why a lot of the HFT shops like uh, physics or people coming out of physics studies on how they do this. Um, that's just how they're trained from an education educational standpoint. Obviously, communication is going to be a big one. Um, from what I understand, a lot of people with English second language, they like IT because they don't have to talk a lot. I don't think that will pan out too well for you if you're in the trading shops because you're in a team consensus mode. So communication skills will be important depending upon where you apply and where you're coming from. Programming skills obviously is a big one. We've talked about that numerously or in a lot of ways. Um, so again, possess a deep understanding of financial markets. So I've said that before when it comes to uh, the three parts on career where you gotta be really good at. And uh, that's, as I said, is trading uh, and understand the financial markets, breaking it down um, from a scientific notation perspective, which is really the quant. I've got a video on that. Um, looking at uh, one of the uh, leading uh, books from probably the top quant out there on his student papers. Uh, also uh, strong problem solving. As I said, they do that during the interview process, communication skills. So those are the soft skills that they look for. And um, a lot of other things as well. It's really hard to get top of game. Education is a big one, but math is a big, big factor. No doubt about that. So as I said, if you want to know more about uh, my area, um, what I could recommend is go over to quantlabsnet.com, get onto our um, newsletter and sign up under the learn tab, quantlabsnet.com, get our free C++ HFT ebook. And now I just put out a new course, um, which is quite interesting. Uh, let me just get this here. Uh, under program, it'll be a change here. This is brand new right now. I just put it out so you can get a breakdown on what's in this course. It, it covers a lot of quant as well. Over the years, I've been um, putting out demonstration videos and stuff for the last decade plus, as I said including some early uh, machine learning techniques as well. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Just wanted to put, up, uh, put this out there for anybody interested in what and how you, what you need to be a cut above uh, a lot of the thousands of applicants per, per job now for quant-related firms or HFT firms.